Shit, man. Uh, where do I start? I stopped doing YouTube for like a month because I was down and out, man. I was stressed. I was depressed. I just couldn't do it. Had hella copyright claims. I couldn't make no money. And then um, YouTube ad boycott. That shit fucked me up. So I had to work my move and, you know, do what I had to do so I can bring money in for the fam. And I seen all the fuck niggas talking about, oh, Zayesco did this shit for money. Nigga, at the end of the day, that's my only source of income, you feel me? So I had to fucking do what I had to do to keep food on the fucking table. But look, wait a minute. Why the fuck is my AC so damn loud, bro? This shit really pissing me off. Like, I keep hearing this shit in the mic and I'm trying to concentrate. But look, it is what it is. But in this video, I'm going to talk about everything that's been going on this past month. And like, you know, not me trying to complain about it, but like me just telling you because I know there's people out there that I'm up there. What the fuck? That might be trying to, not trying to, that might be going through the same shit, you feel me? Like, it's everybody have problems, so maybe me talking about this can help somebody out there. And that's all I want to do, you know what I'm saying? So you don't make the same mistakes I did. Now, I don't even know where to start because it was just so much that happened. Like, this shit going to be out of order, so just... Yeah, just, I just, yeah, just listen, I guess. But yeah, so if you've been a subscriber for a while, you know that I totaled my car. You know what I'm saying? I almost died in that shit. But I was driving my brother's car recently, like a couple weeks ago. Might might have been a month ago. Yeah, I was driving my brother's car down the highway and shit. Motherfuckers can't drive, man. This shit be pissing me off because it don't never be my fault. But yeah, I was driving and got down, got behind it. No, matter of fact, I went in, I was behind it, did black truck, and then... This red explorer jumped in front of me, you feel me? But it ain't that much space. But this nigga jumped in front of me. He's speeding and shit. So, this fuck nigga hit a tire. Fuck nigga hit a tire, bro. I, I, like a, a ripped tire. You know how a tire, like, rip off a car. Like, if it's flat and it just, you know, come off the car. This shit was in the middle of the street. This nigga hit it. That shit ricocheted, hit my brother's car, and fucked up the front. And I'm like, ah, oh, bro, like, you don't understand how pissed I was. I'm like, God damn, my nigga. I must got bad luck or some shit. And the crazy part about that, the shit ain't even hit the truck hard. You know what I'm saying? It just bumped against the car, and I thought it was cool. But then I seen this nigga speed off, so I should have known something was wrong. So when I got to my destination, I got out, looked at the shit, and I'm like, damn, bro, not, not again, bro. Then on top of that, three of my partners got killed, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't no, like, like, my, my best friends and then, like, my best homies and that, but, you know, I was cool with them. three of them got killed, and, like, the same goddamn week, and, and two of them together, so, you know, that shit was crazy, my little cousin died in a goddamn accident, so, you know, after all this happened, this shit really get into me now, like, I'm really, like, down and depressed as fuck, like, Bro, I'm sad as hell. But that ain't even it, though. You know what I'm saying? Shit just kept going and going. One of my closest niggas, I'm talking about somebody I grew up with, somebody I look at like a brother. Nigga turned on me about some lame ass shit. Really, it was about something that I ain't had nothing to do with. Then this nigga really tried me like a lame ass nigga on some, by the hoe. You know what I'm saying? By, by some temporary pussy, my nigga. Like, bro, you ain't even been with her for a year, my nigga. Uh, you, ain't, you ain't even been with her for a year. Man. You know what? I don't even want to talk about this. <laughs> I'ma let it go. I'm just in my feelings right now, cause that shit hurt, you feel me? It it really did hurt. But at the end of the day, it ain't no beef. I'm good. I I never be beefing about no female. So at this point, I'm just choosing to, you know, separate myself and keep my distance. But what else happened? Uh me and my girl been together for six years, man. Why the fuck we broke up? Like God damn, how do you gonna leave me when I need you the most like that? That how you really feel? No. <laughs> For real though, like it wasn't even her fault, it was both our fault. I feel like I need help right now, I need to get myself together, she need to get herself together and it's unhealthy for us to stay together and all we doing is fighting and you know, all that bullshit. Like let's just take a break, break up, goddamn, rebuild our friendship and if the shit work out later on in life, cool. And while we on the topic about girls and shit, um, it was just one girl that I was really close with at one point in time. like. She was like a best friend. Her name was JoJo. Now, I sh should I have said her name? Probably not. But 
Yeah, her name was JoJo, and um, I don't know, man. Like, we ain't talked in a while, and uh, shit, really deep. It, it's, it's, it's really a long story, but shit, we got time, and if you want to listen, hey, be my guest and, you know, stay on the video. But um, I met her in high school. Uh, me and my bro was in the gym, and she was sitting alone, and I went over there to talk to her, and after that, we got cool. She was cool as fuck. Beautiful. Like, just had the most amazing personality, bro. Like, I could sit here and, like, for real, chill with her all day without any bullshit, no drama, no none of that. You feel me? So, skip ahead. Um, I got in a relationship with the girl that is now my baby mom. And what had happened was she got pregnant. You know what I'm saying? We still in high school, and my baby mama got pregnant and when my best friend jojo found out she started distancing herself and like you know shit started changing but i ended up just moving on with life and you know eventually i fell in love with my baby moms and you know i made it work but then i realized like damn like i, I really miss this girl so this year i had got the courage to um finally hit her up after all these years and I gave her my number and she texted me you know what I'm saying she hit me up and I just told her how I felt and I guess like I was too late I guess you know what I'm saying I really hurt her and all I wanted was a friendship you know what I'm saying I wasn't even looking for a relationship right now because after being with somebody for six years you know that take a toll on you know I guess I really hurt her she told my brother that she don't fuck with me she told him she don't even want me in her life no more and you know, that shit hurt. Shit hurt like a motherfucker. But this the real world, man. In reality, you don't always get them fairy tale endings like in movies and shit. You know, sometimes when you hurt people, they give up. And that's what she did. She said she felt like I should have been said something. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about in this video, because like, I'm slick breaking down right now. Um, I tried to commit suicide. I've been going through a lot. And, you know, most of the shit I won't even talk about on this video because it, it's just been so much. But yeah, I tried to kill myself and it was a cowardly thing to even, you know, try. I just didn't want to feel pain anymore. But I realized, like, I'm here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? I done had shit that happened to me in my life that I could have been got killed on some dumb shit. You feel me? And for me to just try to kill myself, it was on some pussy shit. But, you know, I stopped myself because I realized, like, Hey, I got more to live for. I got a daughter, man. I can't leave her here alone. Oh, man. <laughs> um, And yesterday, my mom had to go to the doctor. And when she got back, she told me that the doctor found some in her breast. And they think it might be breast cancer. But we don't know for sure. Um, I think they're going to run more tests either Thursday or Friday. I forgot which day she said. But um, it run in my family, so I'm just praying for the best that, you know, she don't have it. I ain't even want this video to be that long, man. Um, look, for anybody that's listening right now, I just want you to know, if you're going through shit, you're not alone. You know what I'm saying? You're not alone. If you need help, go get help. Because suicide is not the answer. And, you know, if your family's sick, I know it hurt, but you got to keep pushing. Uh, my bad. I had to um, stop the video so I could um, get myself together. But I just want all y'all to chase y'all dreams, man. Chase your dreams and just know that people going to always hate on you. You know what I'm saying? People going to love you when you on their level. But as soon as they see you doing better, they going to hate. Trust me, they gonna hate, but that's okay. You just keep going, keep pushing, keep striving for better. And most importantly, never give up, man. Never fucking give up.